Yeah, and neighbors tell me they have heard this couple argue here a lot. But this morning, investigators say this was more like an ambush. They say that the woman was actually waiting on the side porch of the home you see behind me for the man to walk outside. And when he did, investigators say she shot him once in the shoulder, in the back, and then one more time until he fell to the ground. I just want him to be okay. We're just praying for him and so worried about him. The sadness is overwhelming for Shelly Leidecker, standing on the sidewalk near where she just watched her friend being taken to the hospital, a man who lives in the same building, Jody Frankel's building. This is not what's supposed to happen. But at 6.30 a.m. There's like three or four gunshots. The sounds that echoed along Luan Avenue were clear, loud, and obvious. I heard um, three gunshots. They were very distinct. It's like very distinct gunshots. And then 30 seconds later, a fourth shot. The description of those shots was the same from everyone who awoke to the sounds. But Cheryl Morris says her nephew heard something before that. He didn't hear what was going on, just that there was a confrontation going on between a man and a woman. After the shots, Morris called 911, and another neighbor walked toward the apartment where the shots came from. I could hear a man laying on the ground saying he was shot in the chest. This neighbor asked we not identify him. He says police were arriving as he was. And as the man lying next to the SUV in the driveway was calling for help. He was saying, she shot me, she shot me. And then they walked up on the porch and she was laying there and I guess the gun was laying next to her. So how do you know the gun was there? Because I heard the officer say, the, the gun's laying right here next to her. Frankel tells me the man had only been living in her building since October. And there was often loud commotion there. So it was like a confrontational relationship. One that police say the man shot was trying to end. He's a good person, he's a good friend, and he just, he has to be okay. Investigators say the man is in critical condition at a local hospital. The female was pronounced dead on the porch. Investigators say she had a single gunshot wound to the head. At this point, police are not releasing either of their names. Live in Shaler, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank you.